Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in this tutorial, I'll learn about how to change your Jupyter T using a different method. So, as I was saying in the previous tutorial, you can go to this address like on GitHub, Donovac Teams. Then he has a, a Python program, a script to help you install it straight away. So, you just open your terminal, then you enter pip, pip uh, install. So I'll copy pip install upgrade. So you can just follow through with the instructions <laughs> instructions written on how to install it. But there are some issues. But if you if you want to use it, you can still use it. So you go with pip install, then upgrade upgrade Jupyter teams right so it's going to go to this url and then clone it for you so you can just follow through with the instructions down there so these are some of the teams it can give you when you install this package so you have several teams and you can alternate within between them which is quite nice so one dog team cherish team you can also even customize these teams if you want so as it is installing, you see that it's downloading the packages to so download all the packages which is required for it. So after that finished downloading, then you just go straight away with the command line version of it. That is like the normal synthesis. So you should just check through to see whether your requirements are all up to date. Then if it's not having if it's not up to date, it will update it. Okay, so after installing it, you just go with JT, right? JT for uh, Jupyter team, then L to list all the teams that is having, so that it's having all these available teams. Then you, if you want to choose a team to use, you just go with JT, then IT, the team, for dash T or not IT, dash T. So I want to choose a team like, let's say, Cherished, right? Chess. There is, I said. So after taking this team, I'll just you run your Jupyter notebook. Let's close this one so that it's a to run. Okay, so now it has changed the team. So if I want to just go with Jupyter notebook, it's going to come up with this Chester Chesterish team. <laughs> So you can use all these things. So if you want to change it, just go with uh, JT dash T. If you want to change this thing, just go with JT dash T. So that to run for you and then open your browser with the team that you chose, which is quite nice. Very nice. Okay. So let's say I want to change it to a different team again. I'll just go. I can just follow through with the other format. So in case you, the previous method has not work, this is one of the ways you can use to help you work. So for example, if I want to change this team to a different team, I'll close it. I'll close my notebook server. Then either you reset it, so you can go with JT R to reset it, or JT. Let's say let's you just list the teams, then you say J T and let's do something like T then Solarized D D. Let's see whether it will be able to work. If it's able to work fine. Okay, so after I just finish, you just run again the uh, Jupyter notebook. Then it's going to open for you a different one with a different team. So this is quite simple method that you can use. Although the other one is also quite simpler. <laughs> okay, let's see whether to change the team. 
Wow, so it has, it has changed it to a different team altogether. So this is a different team. So you can even copy those files and then customize it to your liking. So in case you want to reset it back to your default team that you had to the white one, you can just go with JT, right? Uh, JTR. Then it's going to reset it back to the default white one. If it's having, if it's giving you issues, you just follow the step. You delete the folder, the custom folder, and then you see that reset it. So let's open it and see. Jupiter the notebook it's going to reset it perfectly to the normal one for you to the white default team okay see that just reset it reset it reset it reset it back to the default white team so this is quite useful when you when you want to do it so thank you for watching if you have any problem problem with this you can just follow through with their docu documentations here and then which is in their website with all the issues and you find most of the solutions here okay thank you for watching and stay blessed